couple of hours, views I've got 1,000, but somehow men think I'm now a spin because my lyrical sound got dumbed down again. Some now pretend that I'm down with them, like I'm supposed to be flat and just run around with them. Blood, I ain't gonna put my thumb down and send. I'm shouting on school car, I'm practically out of the hood, and I ain't gonna come round again. When I blow, you will never see my face again. I hate the end. I feel like the owner of Gucci working in H&M. I can't say that I'm one of them patient men. But I'm trying to be ghost in the fastest. Something like Nicolas Cage and most of the artists. Homes are the hardest. Like they want my heart on my sleeve. Everybody knows I'm a yard. Can't sound hard to believe. Everybody knows I'm a pirate. I know only come back to go to the barbers. I don't want to see these youths like most of our fathers. <laughs> Carrying food, loads of compartments, living in the grossest apartments, still rolling up with holes in their garments. All of them's angry at me cause I'm so close to the party. See, I said that I weren't gonna dumb down the flow, but come on, I can't be getting one pound a show. <laughs> in 06, every man was like, I'm bound to blow. But I never see no gunpowder though. I almost lost the game one round ago, but I ain't Harrison hanging in till round four. I want a yard bigger than the road town hall, but top of the grand ladder is still ground floor. Can't even, can't even see if there's no glass ceiling, and some of you ain't doing it. No hard feelings, but in manners there's imbalance in talent, so whack rappers get go kart weedings. George acts brave because the smoke can't screen him, and you're that slave that won't chance freedom. I'd rather get my foot cut off. Might fall trap, but I'll never look shut off. See, see, rappers are limited in the things that we know. So money makes every man an industry home. And we're all dumb little hood niggas thinking we deserve comfortable good figures. Like watch when I get signed, I'ma get mine, get wise. You can't buy a nice car if the net price is like half the check signs. MCs are limited in the things that we know, so money makes every man an industry home. Now we're all dumb little hood niggas thinking we deserve comfortable good figures. Like watch when I get signed, I'ma get mine. Get wax. You can't buy a nice car if the net price is like half the check size. Cambridge swag, Harvard neckties. See legit black boys are the humble soldiers, jungle roamers. Some of us never had dads, paid more attention to what the uncles told us. Dumb hood youngers all get gassed by the dumb hood olders. Pros and cons, professionals and convicts, but you never get one good bonus, and all it comes down to is making PT. Right now I'm a great MC, but I'm trying to be top dog in HMV. You want to be top dog in HMP. But whenever anybody is self-destructing, the hardest part is trying to make them see. All my black friends say life ain't fair, and I say yeah, but why should any of my white mix care? Ask my little brothers, it's like they care how I look after mine, but I never catch them near a book after time or any of the time. And it's not like me and Freddie were the kind to be steady on the grind education-wise, but reassess the situation, guys. From you're the only one who could have found a way out of this, being stuck in the hood is down to straight cowardice. We love Oxbridge to be as black and brown as say how it is, but if knowledge is power, we're bound to stay powerless. I had a dream I got shot in Harsden. That's local ends. I got shot in Harsden. So-called friends, I put nothing past them. I was left for dead, but I wasn't just left dead, I woke up on my deathbed. I got caught slipping like some bricks, then gangster in Peckham styling. My picture in the metro, my brethren's whining, reconciling myself with this wreck and smiling. Till I noticed five ghosts standing around me, looking like most men them in Ralphie's. <laughs> First ghost turned to the second at fam. Why is he looking like he doesn't recognize man? That's when I realized they looked angry as hell. Heaven knows they probably wanted to shat me as well. Quite scary and spooky. Try eerie and booky. Fam, I felt like I slipped into a Nigerian movie. <laughs> I got 
got shot in hard. Local end. I got shot in hard. So called friends, I put nothing past them. I was left for dead, but I wasn't just left dead. I woke up on my deathbed. Got caught sleeping like some Brixton gangster in Peckham, styling. My picture in the metro, my brethren's whining. Reconciling myself with this wreck and smiling. Till I noticed five ghosts standing around me looking like most man them in Ralphies. The first ghost turned to the second like, fam, why is he looking like he doesn't recognize man? That's when I realized they looked angry as hell. Heaven knows they probably wanted to shank me as well. Quite scary and spooky. Try eerie and mooky, fam. I felt like I slipped into a Nigerian movie. The first ghost said to me, we were your gifts. We empowered you so you didn't need the four fifths. It's not about luck. We were supposed to be with you. So anything else you believed was all myths. Now as you might have guessed, I was the gift of the gap. For every single time you got a lift to the cab or got a two for two without paying two pounds, the gift of the gap shifted the slab weighing you down. You probably think you made good use of me, innit? Any list of great talkers, you should be in it. You'd be twanging right now if it wasn't for your health, because when have you said anything that wasn't for yourself? The second ghost was more like, you know the score that. I was your ability to learn. You could copy what you saw and you didn't need a turn. Anywhere mimicry was physically concerned. I gave you more tricks of the trade than Nicolas Cage at a ridiculous age. When you was 15, you worked at the barbers on the minimum wage, but there was none of that with which you didn't engage because you had more of me than usual. Stupid fool, what did you even use it for? You could have used it more. True or false? Can you recall trying to pursue a cause that you would call true at all? The third ghost told me I was your gift of understanding. Education-wise, you've done the damn thing, but you flipped it with this gallus in Wonderland thing. <laughs> then you ground yourself king because of all of that attention you found yourself in. And you know what annoys me about you? As a younger, you understood more than younger should. But that didn't excite you like getting numbers would. So you never used me with great persistence. To, you never used me with great persistence to break the systems and make a difference. Now that's when I found the strength to speak. I said I'm 20 years old, but I'm a meant to be. Free world leader of the century. I couldn't have been what you think I was potentially. I got into King's College, Cambridge University. Do you know what I, to, do you know what I went through? I had to slew adversity. So I'm sorry if you ain't what you prefer to be, but I think you lot are deluded personally. Then there was an awkward silence. Then the fourth ghost just said, well, George, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waste of time if you can't see why we're here. If you're in a rush to go, where the green light is there. Then I was like, no, I ain't heard from the fifth. And you, yeah, furthermore, what gift were you? He said, it's pointless, all saying. Looked at me and told me the point is your diet. We deserve the time that you never got to give us. And now your life is over. We never got to live ours. I watched them disappear. Covered in piss and fear. Wishing that I had my brothers and sisters did. Picturing myself in government and explaining to God why I never beheld his covenant. Mm -hmm. The way I felt sidelined was crazy. On a big man thing, I just cried like a baby. Sorry for the times that I never spoke up. I prayed for one more chance. And then I woke up. Do you ever walk and avoid the cracks in the pavement? Negotiate around them like blacks in enslavement. I used to listen to Nas tracks in amazement and I looked past the surface and the bars was perfect, but a lot of the time he wasn't making much sense, just being controversial and making stuff tense. Now when an MC has gone commercial, he gets called fake, but you not never stop to think, fake in what sense? Do you know what happens in a bucket full of crabs? The one at the top tries to climb up. But crabs ain't having none of that, they're far from amicable. In fact, the rest of them grab him and pull him back. See, the way they see it, once that crab hits the ground, that crab gets the crown, the crab king crown. Then he's got more wishes than Aladdin found. So they make it their mission to drag him down. I said to the crab, God, what's their problem? He said, maybe, maybe they had a rough morning, it's the weather. <laughs> Another one spoke and said, ignore him, Mr. Clever. Everybody knows that we're rolling this together. I came back to the hood and told them everything I saw. And it was like, fam, stop playing around and catch. 
I told them I've been working, not playing around as such, but they're saying I'm out of touch because I ain't staying around as much. I'm like, staying around for what? I swear the numbers have risen in terms of youngers in prison and people's hungers are driven in the London I'm living in. Now everybody's over-promising and under-delivering because the lightning was exciting and the thunder was riveting when Obama was sworn in after George was sworn in after Bill. But reality hits you harder than 25 pounds for that morning after Bill. So much failure and mediocrity that we think underachievement must be democracy. But envy and frustration breed hypocrisy. Let Chizzy do his thing. Let Dizzy do his thing. Because at the end of the day, it's Drizzy who is king. <laughs> now, when, when one climbs out, we grab them happily because hating is a symptom of that crime mentality. Thank you.